Hey, Chris here from Data Rescue Labs. So, we have a new video for you today. Um, the new video is about regarding uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 and S7. So, all the new phones that are based on the UFS chip. So, previously in a lot of our cases, we've done EMMC, it's fairly straightforward, remove the chip, put it in the cradle, read it. Um, there's a lot of cradles now or, or adapters that can read EMMC. Unfortunately, UFS is a totally different beast. It's, it's, a, it's a serial chip, it's not like, um, like the old EMMC, um, there's, there's not many uh, tools out there that can read UFS and, and the ones that are available can only read certain chips. Um, so what we used to do back in a few months ago, the only way for us to do a physical extraction on a Samsung S6 or S7 was to physically remove the chip. Now this couldn't be done on the S7 because the S7 is encrypted. So this was the biggest hurdle we had to face. Uh, we had phones that were water damaged uh, that couldn't be repaired, or some could be repaired. We repaired a few of them, uh, but some of them could not be repaired. Um, so chip up on S7 cannot be done uh, in most cases, but uh, if the phone is working and it's a forensic case, and let's say the user wants uh, their deleted picture, uh, messages or content, uh, we can now bypass the passcodes on the S7, S6, and also retrieve deleted content. Um, this, this video we will be specifically on the S6 that came in yesterday. Uh, what has happened to this phone is the, the user, I guess, lost the phone temporarily. They couldn't find it. So the next logical thing for them was to log into the Google account and go ahead and lock the device. Um, and then soon after, they actually ended up finding the device. And then when they tried to unlock the device with the uh, recovery password, they could not, and they were afraid that uh, if they entered the password wrong too many times, it will wipe the device. So um, the best thing was to actually bring it to us uh, before anyone else starts messing with it. So this video will be on that particular case where we're gonna bypass the lock on the S6 and also do a physical extraction on top of that just to uh, extract all the data just in case a uh, user has any problem. Anyways, uh, here's the video of us unlocking a Galaxy S6. So here we are. Uh, this is the problem. The phone is locked by Find My Device uh, through Google. So when you try to unlock it, you get the recovery password. Uh, I think uh, the company policy was here to uh, change your password every few months. And then the uh, IT department didn't know the recovery password for some reason. And the user was afraid to enter it anyways because he would lose his data. So here we are in UFED. We're going to initiate the password removal. Uh, there's a bit of a process to this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, swapping of ca cables back and forth using different types of cables. Uh, this in initially boots a custom bootloader and then goes into the download mode and removes um, the recovery partition, replaces it with another recovery partition. Um, and once that's done, once the whole process is done, the recovery partition is restored back to uh, uh, the original state. So we're almost near the end here. I think the phone is going to be on this last reboot in a second. Um, this is the last few steps here. We're coming up to the reboot. Once this process is done, the screen will just unlock as if there was never any passcodes. And this works in Galaxy S7 as well. So here we go. We're about to uh, see if it worked. And let's unlock the screen. Yeah, fully unlocked. So there it is. Uh, we removed the passcode successfully on the S6, and like I said, this works on the S7. Here's all the apps, and data still there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos in the future.